Hello everybody, Awesome Dante here. Today I'm going to show you an interesting mob mechanic made by Mike Strast. It is called the Portable Mob Arena. Um, what it is, is it's basically a uh, mob arena, but portable. I'll explain in a second. Anyway, uh, you just type in this command, MMX get arena marker, uh, to get the uh, arena spawn egg. And um, you just throw it out, stand back a little bit, and you'll see that there is a ring of uh, fire particles that come down. Um, you can also get rid of these uh, like server messages in the chat using one of the uh, game rules, so you don't have to worry about that popping up every time this thing happens. So anyway, um, this is uh, the arena, and um, apparently the way it's designed, it will conform to any terrain. So like if I threw this on the side of a mountain, for example, here I'll just go over to this mountain here and show you what I mean. So like if I threw this out here, the arena would actually conform to the sides of the mountain, as you can see. So yeah, that's pretty neat. So what happens is uh, when you step inside this, the uh, arena will start, uh, so to speak. Survive. So you gotta slay the monsters. Alrighty, I'm ready. All right, here they are. Now you'll see in the action bar, it shows you how many monsters are actually remaining. Um, so you just kill the monsters. And these are all configurable, by the way. You can change how these monsters act, or you can put in your own monsters. Um, he did warn me that if you change the number of monsters per wave, uh, that you'll have to change some additional stuff. And you'll probably need to know a little bit of uh, mob score in order to add more waves. Um, I have a tutorial for mob score that um, I'll have Mike put in the uh, description for this. Uh, anyway, so these are medium zombies uh, mixed with one easy zombie. So they come in different difficulties right out of the box. So the waves get harder as you go along. I'm in god mode right now because I'm not wearing any armor. <laughs> so that was wave two and here is wave three. Now this is the final wave before the boss. Let's see. Alright, so these are medium skeletons with hard zombies. I can't really tell their tags because they're on fire, but that would be a different story at night when these random spawns would usually come out. Which brings another um, thing into perspective. Uh, this system can be used um, as a random spawn. So you don't have to have the eggs and throw them out for the players to enjoy the arena. They can actually go out and find these arenas in the world with the random spawns. So that's pretty nifty. Um, here comes the final wave, the boss. Um, this boss I actually did help create. Um, I actually made this boss in 2016 for a commission, but I could not find the commissioner ever again. So here he is. <laughs> I did uh, help a little bit making the, um, the portable arena, um, so most of the brains behind this was Mike. Um, I actually have made a portable arena system before, but it is under NDA on Teldaria. Um, so mm, I'm not, uh, it was a matter of time before somebody came up with this idea, and I'm glad it was Mike and not a uh, random person that stole code, so I'm uh, very happy to hear about that. So anyway, you win the arena, um, you get $200 uh, for winning that part of the arena, and I was told that once you defeat the boss you get $400, but that might be a bug that's just going to be ironed out soon. Um, so let me show you how it works over here on different terrain as well. It works basically the same way. Um, there's no bugs with the, the actual like system part. So um, these mobs will spawn anywhere on the terrain inside the circle. And the circle is adjustable too. You can make it bigger or smaller if you want, but you do have to know um, how to use Mythic Mobs. It's not something that you can just adjust without any prior knowledge of the plugin. You have to know um, how ranges work. It's not super complicated, but if you've used the plugin for, I don't know, a couple of months, you'll be able to figure it out, no problem. Um, your best bet if you want to configure this, though, 
uh, fully, like the amount of mobs, and waves, and stuff like that, you, you're going to want to take my tutorial on how to use mob score. It's not too terribly long, it's not too terribly difficult, and I explain it pretty easily, um, but it is somewhat complicated, and um, unfortunately, I seem to have fallen into a ravine, so I'm going to have to fly out of here. <laughs> oh wow, chicken zombie. That's got to be random. Alright, so, oh, there he is. There they are. Wow. A bunch of them down there. Ah, I'm just going to go down there and kill them. So, yeah, the, the system is fully automated. You don't even have to worry about this once. Um, uh, ah, ah, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's fully automated. So uh, you don't have to worry about attending all of the arenas that come up. They're not admin run or anything. They're all automated. Um, there might be um, a chance of players uh, not being able to complete the arena if, uh, let's say, a, uh, a monster gets stuck in a wall or something like that and they can't get to them or, you know, something weird like that. Um, I don't recommend this uh, being used in... Um, let's say your spawn, um, just for that reason, because players can't dig to uh, enemies that might appear in walls. Though that's more of um, a spawning issue. Uh, it doesn't happen that often, but it does. So be careful with that. If for any reason um, the mobs get stuck and your players can't get to them, all they have to do is just walk out of the arena and the event will be canceled just like that. Everything will clean itself up, all of the monsters will disappear, just like that. So another thing you, you're going to want to know is that when you start the arena, the arena actually takes into account anybody that steps into the arena. They are added to a list. So let's say I'm added to the arena, and then my friend steps into the arena and joins. We'll both get um, reward money for defeating the arena, and if I leave the arena but he stays in, the event won't cancel. So if I get knocked out but he's still in there, um, the event will still continue running. However, once all of the participants leave the arena, the arena cleans itself up and disappears and no rewards are given. Except for the ones that are awarded at the waves. Um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, this is an extremely awesome mechanic. Uh, this is something that you're not going to find on Spigot for a while unless somebody decides to, to code their own. This reminds me a lot of Destiny style uh, random events, um, which I thought were pretty awesome. It gives you players something to do out in the wilderness besides just, you know, farming or doing something like that. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is a very nice, very, very good uh, resource. So, you guys take care. Have fun. Later.